Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to discuss about the applications, advantages and limitations of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy had a wide range of applications across various scientific fields due to its ability to analyze the composition, structure and properties of matter. Here are some of the key applications in different areas. First, chemistry. In chemistry, the spectroscopy is used for molecular structure determination, quantitative analysis and reaction monitoring. In molecular structure determination, the techniques like NMR and IR spectroscopy are used to determine the structure of molecules including functional group and bonding patterns. Raman spectroscopy provides insights into molecular vibrations and chemical composition. In quantitative analysis, UV visible spectroscopy is commonly used to quantify concentration of analytes in solutions based on their absorption spectra. The mass spectrometry provides molecular weight and structural information for compounds. Next in reaction monitoring, IR and UV visible spectroscopy are used to monitor chemical reactions in real time by measuring changes in the absorption or emission of light. In biochemistry and medicine, the spectroscopy is used for protein and DNA analysis, diagnostic tools and pharmacology. In protein and DNA analysis, circular dichroism and fluorescence spectroscopy helps to determine the secondary structure and interaction of proteins and nucleic acids. In diagnostic tools, infrared spectroscopy can be used to analyze biological samples for disease conditions and disease detections such as detecting glucose level in diabetes or biomarkers in cancer. Magnetic resonance imaging which uses NMR spectroscopy is essential in medical imaging for detailed internal scans which are taken in the soft tissues. In pharmacology, mass spectrometry is used to, to identify drugs, metabolites and their pharmacokinetics within the body. UV visible spectroscopy is used to, to analyze the stability and concentration of drugs in formulations. In environmental science, spectroscopy is used to for air and water quality monitoring and soil analysis. In air and water quality monitoring, atomic absorption spectroscopy and inductively coupled plasma spectroscopy are employed to detect trace metals in water and air. UV visible and IR spectroscopy are used to measure pollutant concentrations such as ozone, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. In soil analysis, NMR spectroscopy and IR spectroscopy are applied to study the organic matter in soil and track pollution or nutrient concentration. In astronomy and astrophysics, the spectroscopy is used for stellar and planetary composition studies and cosmology. In stellar and planetary composition studies, spectroscopy of light from stars, planets, and other celestial objects reveals their composition, temperature, velocity and age. Absorption and emission spectroscopy helps to detect the presence of elements like hydrogen, helium and heavier elements in stars and gas clouds. In cosmology, redshift measurements using Doppler spectroscopy provides insights into the expansion of the universe. X-ray spectroscopy helps to study the high energy phenomena such as black holes and supernova. In material science, spectroscopy is used for structural characterization, surface analysis and crystallography. In structural characterization, Raman spectroscopy and IR spectroscopy are used to study the chemical bonds and structural features of materials such as polymers, nanomaterials and semiconductors. In surface analysis, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy is used to analyze the surface chemistry and composition which are essential for understanding corrosion 
catalysis and coating. In crystallography, X-ray diffraction, a form of spectroscopy, is used to determine the arrangement of atoms in crystals. In forensics, spectroscopy is used for substance identification and trace evidence analysis. In substance identification, mass spectrometry, IR spectroscopy, and UV visible spectro spectroscopy are used to analyze unknown substances including drugs, toxins, and explosives in forensic investigations. In trace evidence analysis, atomic spectroscopy helps in detecting trace elements in samples like hair, blood or soil, and providing forensic evidence in criminal cases. In food and agriculture, spectroscopy is very helpful for quality control and adulteration detection. In quality control, near-infrared spectroscopy is used to analyze the composition of food products such as determining moisture, fat, and protein content in food and grains. Mass spectrometry is used to detect pesticides and contaminants in food products. In adulteration detection, Raman spectroscopy and UV visible spectroscopy helps to detect adulterants in food and beverages. Some of the adulterants includes fraudulent additives in milks or oils. In pharmaceutical industry, spectroscopy are very useful for drug development and quality control. In drug development, NMR spectroscopy is used to determine the structure of drug molecules and understand their interactions with biological targets. IR spectroscopy monitors the purity and stability of drug compounds during its formulation. In quality control, spectroscopic techniques such as UV visible and Raman are routinely used to ensure drug formulations which meet safety and efficiency standards. In art and archaeology, spectroscopy is very useful for material identification, authentication, and conservation. In material identification, X-ray fluorescence and Raman spectroscopy helps to identify the composition of pigments, dyes, and other materials in artworks and artifacts. In authentication, spectroscopic methods are used to authenticate paintings, sculptures, and ancient artifacts by comparing material composition to known standards. In conservation, infrared spectroscopy is used to analyze the degradation of materials in cultural heritage objects and aiding in preservation efforts. In nanotechnology, spectroscopy is very much useful for the characterization of nanomaterials. Raman spectroscopy and X-ray absorption spectroscopy are used to characterize the structure, bonding, and electronic properties of nanomaterials like carbon nanotubes, graphene, and nanoparticles. Advantages of spectroscopy Spectroscopy offers several significant advantages as a powerful analytical technique. The first advantage is non-destructive analysis. Most spectroscopic techniques do not require the destruction of the samples and allowing for valuable information to be obtained without altering the original material. The second advantage is high sensitivity. Many spectroscopic methods can detect and analyze extremely small quantities of samples, making them suitable for trace analysis. The third advantage is specificity. Spectroscopy can provide highly specific information about the composition and structure of a sample and enabling precise identification and quantification. The fourth advantage is versatility. A wide range of spectroscopic techniques are available, catering to different types of samples and analytical needs. This versatility makes spectroscopy applicable to various fields of science and technology. And the next advantage is rapid analysis. Many spectroscopic measurements can be performed quickly and providing timely results for decision making. The sixth advantage is automation. Many spectroscopic instruments can be automated, reducing the need of manual labor and improving efficiency. The final and seventh advantage is remote sensing. 
some spectroscopic techniques such as remote sensing can be used to analyze samples from a distance making them valuable for environmental monitoring and other applications in overall spectroscopy is a valuable and versatile tool that offers numerous advantages for scientific research industrial applications and other fields finally limitations of spectroscopy while spectroscopy is a powerful analytical technique it does have certain limitations the first limitation is sample preparation some spectroscopic technique may require complex sample preparation procedures which can be time consuming and introduce potential errors the second limitation is interference spectral interference can occur when the signals from different components of a sample overlap making it difficult to accurately analyze the individual components the third limitation is matrix effects the presence of other components in the sample or the matrix can influence the spectroscopical signal leading to inaccurate results the fourth limitation is sensitivity limitations some spectroscopic techniques may have limited sensitivity for detecting the low concentration of analytes and the fifth limitation is cost spectroscopic equipment can be expensive to purchase and maintain and limiting its accessibility in some settings the sixth limitation is operator expertise proper interpretation of spectroscopic data often requires specialized knowledge and training which may be a challenge for non expertise the seventh and final limitation is environmental factors factors such as temperature humidity and electromagnetic interference can affect the accuracy of spectroscopic measurements finally it is important to consider these limitations when selecting a spectroscopic technique for a particular application and to take appropriate measures to minimize their impact dear viewers that's all about the applications advantages and limitations of spectroscopy thank you for your support thank you